Welcome everyone to another video. Today I will be testing 360 Total Security, the antivirus, the free version. And this is not to be confused with Norton's 360 Security Suite. This is different. This is from Qhu or Qho. I, I'm not even sure how you say their name. But again, this is their free version. And I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware, 57 samples in total. And so we're going to test this uh, program against those samples. Now the procedure will be as follows. In a moment I will enable the real-time protection. We'll let it sit for just a few minutes and see if it detects anything on its own. After which we will run a system scan followed by scanning the folder directly. And then if there's any samples left over after that we will try to execute them and test to see if 360 Total Security can stop them. I would like to point out that if we go into the settings, there is an option here underneath the Active Protection and Systems tab to block or detect PUPs, which I think is very important just because often users will confuse PUPs with viruses. They're not viruses, they're adware, and these are more common or usually what's causing the issue when people think their computer is infected. However, today we're not going to be testing against adware, we're going to be testing against malware. All of those samples are malware related. Please note that Windows 10 is up to date. We're also going to just double check our antivirus right now. We're going to check for updates and it looks like we are up to date. So at this point we'll go ahead and enable our protection and please note that we're just going to use the balanced uh, option. This is the default option. There is one step up where you can go to security. What it does is it enables the Bitdefender scan engine and a Vera scan engine. Now we already know what those can do. So what we're going to do is just stick with the balanced option for the moment. And we're going to click on apply. And then again, we're going to let it sit here for just a few minutes to see if it does or does not detect anything on its own. All right, a few minutes has passed. Let's just double check our samples folder. I did not notice anything pop up and it looks like we still have all 57 items. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and do a scan and we're going to do a full scan and we'll let that run until completed and then we'll be back here in just a moment with the results. All right, the scan has completed and it looks like it detected 57 results. And so it does give us a list here of everything that was found. And so let's go ahead and just click on resolve. And it looks like it did remove all of those. Let's just double check our samples folder. It is empty. And so just a quick recap, we did start with 57 samples of malware. All of them were detected and removed with the full system scan. And also keep in mind, as far as the protection level, I did leave it on balanced. So keep that in mind as well. And also, even though we had 100% detection in this test, that does not necessarily mean that 360 total security will perform at that level in all types of tests. Again, this is just one type of malware test, but it did do very well. It did detect everything. We had 100% detection, so that's very good. And I'd also like to point out for a free program, this actually does have quite a few options and features that you can use without even upgrading. So that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.